Hello everyone, welcome to another video and uh, this time uh, actually it's a bit different video I would like to present uh, some script that I made uh, it is a custom script and I really like this script uh, the idea was to build the script which can handle cable tray supports and I did have some requirements uh, while making this script and the first requirement was that uh, the script must allow um, that uh, actually cable trays uh, retract by some dimension and maybe it will be easier for you to understand if you take a look of this image and for example in this case we have from all four sides cable trays and we have one fitting and uh, when the user run uh, my script it will have a possibility to enter this uh, dimension of retraction uh, between the cable tray and a fitting. Also, uh, the requirement is to have for each cable tray support on the start and on the end of the cable tray. Uh, regarding the distance, it's not that easy that you just need to enter some uh, distance and the script need to follow that. Uh, like the first rule is to check if the length of the cable tray is uh, bigger or lower than a 3 meters. So if the cable tray length is less than 3 meters, we should only have uh, cable tray supports on the start and on the end of the cable tray. But if uh, the cable tray length is bigger than 3 meters, then we should also apply some spacing. Of course, uh, supports must follow the direction of the cable tray, so the script must uh, work for all possible angles of the cable trays. And of course, the script must recognize the width of the cable tray, and it must uh, automatically adjust uh, the width of the of the cable tray support. And of course, uh, this is like the custom script, and uh, maybe by following this uh, pipe support video from my channel, you can also make this script. And basically, all my videos on, on my channel are like learning videos so if you succeed to build that pipe support uh, script i'm pretty sure that you will also be able to create this script and now this is my like sample project so what i have here is some root of the cable tray i have some custom angles and i also have the change of the height and over here we have some floor uh, like bottom of that floor it's on 3.85 meters and now we will run the script the user interface it's it's relatively uh, simple so we need to select all cable trays uh, we need to enter uh, the host height we need to define the distance uh, between the cable trays we need to define that amount of retraction uh, between the cable tray support and the fitting and of course we must select the family for the for the support uh, now let's see uh, so all those roads uh, does not bridge into this floor so even if we go a wireframe uh, the road the roads will uh, stop on this on this height over here also if we take a look this uh, from 3d view so there is no any collision uh, between the supports and the floor okay now i will uh, hide the floor so we can uh, see better uh, what happens with our cable tray routes so first rule is to check the length of the cable tray here we have the length of the cable tray below 3 meters so we must follow that rule that all cable trays with a length less than 3 meters we will just have uh, support on the beginning and on the end of the cable tray of course I didn't put in the user interface that value of tool, but you can go into the dynamic script and change that if you want so you can say okay check if the length of the cable tray is less than a two meters or one meter but I think this is reasonable so 
uh, if you have cable tray less than a three meter i think that uh, supports on the beginning and on the end uh, is sufficient but then if you have cable tray with the length bigger than a three meter then you will have something like this so if we go to to floor plan so we have uh, support on the beginning support on the end and now if we measure the distance so okay let's measure that distance we did define one and a half meter and we have one and a half meter but over here basically we have two rules first rule says that we must have uh, for each cable tray uh, support on the beginning and support at the end and also second rule if the cable tray is uh, longer than a three meters we must have some spacing so this spacing is okay this uh, distance is okay but this is this is actually the calculated value because we must follow both rules okay uh, we do not have a problem with rotation of of supports we have uh, good angles okay uh, we also do, do not have a problem with the width we have defined the width uh, but actually we don't have any change of the width in this example maybe if we change the width let's say over here let's go with 200 mm and now I will run this script again just to see if the width will follow and it looks looks okay to me so let's So I did took two different hangers with a different width just to see if the script follow. The script follow those changes in the width. That is okay. And that is it for this script. And of course, if you need uh, this script or some similar script, uh, you can always order uh, the script from my website. Thank you for watching. Bye.